Welcome back to Streamline Entertainment, it's Marvin speaking. Uh, just to confirm um, some stories about Jay's GoFund. Um, there's a lot going around that originally it was 30,000 and some people were thinking it could have been ransom money. Uh, I'm not so sure about that. And um, secondly, it's now gone up and people have the right who've donated to ask what the money's for. So I'm just gonna go through some of the uh, basically videos that people have put up and they've got right to ask um, questions to the public, especially if they've um, uh, basically put something towards it and want to know where their money's going. 350,000 reported missing person incidents in the UK every year. Okay, I know this Jay Slater is missing in Tenerife, not the UK, but there are around 10,000 people that disappear without trace in Europe every year. So why is this case getting so much attention? And why are there so many out there theories as to what the real story is with Jay Slater? And another big why that many people are asking is why is the family raising so much money through GoFundMe. I mean, what's it for? The family have already stated that they've covered the flights and the accommodation themselves and have not yet withdrawn any of the money, which incidentally is currently around £35,000 when their original target was £30,000. Some people have suggested that Jay will stay lost as long as the GoFundMe money keeps coming in. That's perhaps a bit cynical, but who knows? Others have regretted donating after it came out that Jay should have actually been in prison not partying it up in Spain, after he and seven others attacked a 17-year-old boy with machetes, a golf club, and an axe, for which astonishingly, none of them received any jail time. Miraculously, the boy they attacked lived, but suffered life-changing injuries. I wonder if Jay's family set up a GoFundMe page for him. So what's this growing pot of GoFundMe money? Look, um, I'm not gonna sort of continue uh, Basically, we know Jay had a past, and look, he wasn't no angel, we know that uh, at the end of the day. But I would say um, from 30 to 60, it's gone up um, since this. This was an, um, an earlier video at the end of the day where people are, are wondering where their money is where their money's going. Because look, it's still rising. I think yesterday somewhere it was over 60. I think the family explained that um, it's going to go into different places and Jay's mum have said that she's going to let people know where it's going. So I think they've come back with an explanation. But I think as it kept on going up and up, um, I think people had their own theories um, about it. But there are a few more videos which I'll put up about this as well. These are more comments, excuse me, more comments about the GoFund being at 60,000. I let the video play and I'll comment after. Jay Slater's devastated mother has appealed for more GoFund donations so she can give her son the send off he deserves after his body was found at the base of a ravine in Tenerife. Debbie Duncan said her family had been left overwhelmed by grief after the tragic discovery almost a month after the teenager from Oswald Whistle, Lancashire, first disappeared on June 17th. Jay's mother, along with his father Warren Slater and his brother Zach, remain on the Canary Island as they await to accompany the youngster's body home in an update today. Ms Duncan said, we are working with agencies to arrange Jay's repatriation to the UK and the remaining funds, along with any future donations will be used to help with this if needed and to pay for Jay's funeral costs back home. We want to give our boy the send off he deserves so please do continue to share and support our fundraiser however you can. They are due to fly home in the coming days and we are so appreciative of their dedication and support. We would like to thank LBT Global for their support during this impossible time. So that's the video. I just want to look at some of the comments. Buying an apartment out there or what? I think that there's more than enough um, in the GoFund. I would probably be say so. Um, a funeral uh, would cost if there's a lot of people going, which I'd imagine uh, to that funeral, I'd say between four and probably 6,000 because of the size of the funeral. Flying him back, um, three, four thousand pounds. 
I think 10 to 12 would be right and you know you know like flowers and um, whatnot someone else said can't believe it how can she ask for more no 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 enough no insurance get a loan no chance how dare it I mean people are quite um, putting their comments out there because uh, they seemed a bit peeved with um, the money going up and up time is very hard for everyone so she have managed uh, managed what she's got pay off pay pay off payday loans I mean look some of these comments are you know quite hard I think if people wanted to make money then that's their business ROPJ I think that too um, my thought is I do think it's a, a little bit on the high side I think 30 to 40 was probably enough and 60 and rising uh, I hope that what I do hope that it is going um, to uh, missing people departments and she makes a list of where this is going that's all I asked for I mean look Jay's not even um, buried yet we haven't even had that funeral we haven't even had the British your UK autopsy yet so um, let's get him back uh, and like I said RIP Jay is an emotional for everyone uh that really got into this case and stuff at the end of the day but like i said i'm sure that money will be going i think what it is sometimes i think it could be a lack of communication um in where this money is going but i i've i, I have heard things that morning um she's gonna let uh jay's mum is gonna let everyone know where the money's going which is a good thing And the final piece uh, was from Harsh Reality, um, who was a really good YouTuber as well. And he was um, following the case. And this is what he had to say uh, about the family want us to pay for the funeral. So I, I just don't get it. But, but regardless of how you feel about that, the, the question is, does Jay Slater deserve the public to fund his funeral on top of what's already been put again very very generously by people in order to help find him in the first place and that we're supposed to believe that there's nothing to see here nothing else it's this a done deal um he was an idiot he was an idiot um turned down his phone charger turned down or, or walked away from the bus turned down a lift went for a walk in fucking terrain that was you know even the sas wouldn't be able to fucking navigate in that heat under those restrictions like with a lack of water lack of food lack of communications do you know what i mean i watched a series of seal team and it was when they parachuted in and and, and the, the team got separated and one of the one of the characters was on his own it was almost like that do you know what i mean you've got someone who's broken away from the team and got to navigate this fucking wilderness let me know down below what you think. Does Jay Slater deserve? And this in again, this ain't to be horrible. This isn't to be horrible. But there's lots and lots of people in the world who do deserve donations and real good causes. What could absolutely benefit from the funds that anybody can offer them, anyone can offer them, is Jay Slater. A worthy enough cause let me know down below uh i i think so yeah I, I i you know look at the end of that i think it was such a big uh emotional case uh this was uh, that a lot of people wanted to help uh, help out due to the kindness of their heart at the end of the day i do think it was a little bit cheeky myself um asking for a little bit more when i think 30 grand or 40 grand was more than enough to give Jay uh, a little bit of a send off and you can tell by people's comments um, have said that's a little bit high if people want to donate and that's fair enough and that's their own uh, individual uh, kindness why they've done it at the end of there were a lot of people thinking you know 60 grand wow what they're going to do with the money i do think that she'll have to come out uh jay's mum and dad and say look we've we're putting some, um, some money uh into unsolved cases or um 
other things that can benefit uh, people going missing uh, all over Europe and even in England too, uh, which I think is a good thing. I mean, I don't want to dwell uh, on what they do with the money um, too much, but his mum seems uh, pr a pretty decent woman, uh, to be honest with you, and I think that she will put the money to good use, even though I, I think uh, she needs to say over the next couple of days, look, some of the money's going here, there, and it just keeps people uh, set in the, the, the right direction that the money is going to good use. That's what I would say about that. Don't forget to subscribe to Streamline Entertainment and have your thoughts uh, about the money. Yes, some people agree with me, some people won't. Some people will agree with harsh reality. Some people will. Who knows? Thank you. Take care wherever you are in the world.